Hello and welcome to this video on the ZNA Network Analyzer. In this video, I would like to explain to you how we can make scalar measurements on a mixer. We're going to be using this as our device under test and then run through the wizard on the instrument and calibration and then show how easy it is to perform all the relevant measurements. So we can start the measurements by going into the measurement menu and selecting a frequency converting measurement list. And then here we have a wizard that allows us to configure the measurements for the mixer. On the ZNA network analyzer, we have up to four internal RF sources, which makes measurements when you want to provide a stimulus to the ALO very, very fast. And we can even do dual conversion mixers or intermodulation measurements on a mixer. Here you can see in the overview, the RF port is driven from port one. We can define the ALO to be driven from port four. And then the IF is driving in to the port two of the network analyzer. We want to set up here the measurements starting from 2.3 to three gigahertz for our frequency span. We can keep the power at the nominal minus 10. We're going to use a down conversion process where the fixed IF in this case is going to be 1.9 gigahertz. And we need to ensure that we have enough power level being driven from port four to four biosa diodes on the ALO input. So we'll choose six dBm. And I'm going to just reduce the measurement bandwidth to one kilohertz. Then we can select OK. And from the measurement list, we can choose conversion gain RF to IF. So to perform the calibration, the first step is that we're using an automatic calibration unit. I have this connected between ports one and ports two. We can initiate the calibration routine. So in the Cal menu, we're choosing a specific calibration routine here called Smarter Cal. And the Smarter Cal routine will combine the S parameter calibration and the power calibration together into a simple routine that means I only have to connect each of the standards once. Here we can see that we're calibrating port one and two. I'm gonna admit port four, which is our ALO port in this particular case, just to speed things up. And down at the bottom, we can see that we're going to connect the power meter to the reference port one. And we can also choose source leveling to make sure that we get uh, maximum flatness on the, uh, the source output. Select next and start. And then we can see the first step here is the calibration unit. We can start the measurement sweep and then the network analyzer will go through the necessary connections inside of the calibration unit to measure the open short match. And in the diagram, you can see that each of the frequencies have been configured so that the whole plan of the frequency converting measurement is set up. So step two of the calibration is that we need to provide the measurement with the power meter. So I have the power meter connected to port one and we can run the sweep to do the power correction measurement. So now the third and final step is that we've connected the mix under test and we perform a power flatness. Now that we've completed the calibration, we can look at one of the real advantages with the ZNA network analyzer in the dual local oscillator concept. By reducing the power level, in this case to minus 60 dBm, then we can see the noise uh, incorporates here on the trace and we get an indication for the trace update rate. If I go to the mode menu, then in here we can select what type of local oscillator we have configured with the measurement. So the traditional method is that you'd only have one local oscillator for both receivers at the RF and IF port. And so in that way, we're doing a, a sequential measurement. And we can see, the, get a feeling for the update rate here. If we go to the dual local oscillator mode, then now we're doing a simultaneous measurement at the RF port on port one and the IF port on port two. And we can see now there's a significant improvement in the sweep update rate. Let's put the power level back to our minus 10. And now we can continue on 
and look at some of the other important measurement parameters for a mixer. We can see here, if I just put a marker onto the conversion loss, then roughly this is about six and a half dBs. In the measurement menu, I can add in the other parameters. So we have the conversion loss from RF to IF. Let's look at it the other way around. So from IF to RF, we'll add that into the same diagram. And then we can just use the zoom function, just have a quick look. And looking at the trace, we can see that there's a slight difference between the two lines, which is the reciprocity error that is associated with these kind of mixers. Let's go back to the main screen. And then the other parameters that might be of interest is the reflection. So we can look at the return loss first at the RF port, then maybe at the IF port as well. And finally at the bottom, then we have our feed through measurements. So we can look at the uh, RF to IF feed through and say the LO to IF feed through. And now very simply, we have everything configured on our ZNA network analyzer including the error correction so that we can perform accurate measurements on a device like this mixer. So in summary, we've seen how the Roden Schwartz ZNA network analyzer enables convenient measurements on frequency converting devices. The ZNA incorporates up to four independent high power sources for measurements on double stage mixers or even intermodulation measurements on mixers. The Roden Schwartz Smarter Cal routine minimizes the calibration steps and combines both S parameter and power calibration routines to provide the highest level of accuracy. Measurement speed is twice as fast due to the ZNA's innovative dual LO architecture. Thank you for watching this video on our ZNA network analyzer. For more information, please visit our website.